What's up guys, it's PyroGun1839 and I'm going to show you how to make a rocket launcher. Okay, so for this video I'm going to show you how to make a rocket launcher just pretty much like this one. I will put a list of all of the materials and tools down in the description below. Um, but for this video, I will go step by step showing you exactly what you have to do to build one of these. Um, and afterwards, you'll be able to have quite a bit of fun. So, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is one and a quarter inch steel conduit. And you're gonna measure out 33 and a half inches of that and cut it off. Then you're going to want to clean it up. I'm going to use a, a grinder with a grinding wheel and a Dremel to polish up those ends. Make sure there's nothing sharp on it. Then you're going to need two inch PVC pipe and cut it right at 20 inches. Yeah, and don't get that PVC stuff in your mouth, it's pretty gross. Next you're going to need 2 inch uh, PVC end caps. And you're going to want to drill through that with a one and a half inch bit, straight in the center. And it's kind of hard, but keep at it, we'll get through. Now I'm using my Dremel tool to cut away all the excess PVC that was left behind to make it nice and clean. And I'm just going to sand it all down. And you want to do that to both of the end caps, so both of them look pretty nice. Now you're going to want to mark on the side of the hole that you just drilled in the end caps for the hose clamp. I'm just going to use a Dremel with a, like a roto zip kind of bit in there. And just cut away so that the hose clamp will fit inside nice and snug. And you're going to want to do that for both of the end caps. And then you're going to want to cut another hole about 90 degrees away from the hose clamp cut. And this will be for the wires going from the pistol grip to the back of the rocket launcher. And those are your two end caps, one of which has the hole for the wires, the other does not. Then you just want to put it all together and make sure um, everything's going to line up really well and fit together. I like to put my hose clamp notches kind of in the same spot on both ends. And to make sure the notches are big enough, I'm going to put my hose clamp on the rear end of the rocket launcher. Slide the heat shroud and try to line it up and get it in that, get the hose clamp in the hole. And since that one worked, I'll put on the next hose clamp. And now that they're both on, your heat shroud shouldn't move much at all. It should not twist or rotate at all or move around. And there's the hole for the wires. 
Now all I need is the pistol grip. But for now I'm going to drill the holes. This one I'm drilling right now is for the wires. These next four holes are just going to be to release the heat that might be stuck inside of the heat shroud. And you can put that somewhere so we can paint it later. Now we need a 2x6 and we're going to mark it at 5.5 inches. So you get basically like a square. Then from one side, you're going to mark a couple spots at one and a half inches and at three inches. And then from the top, you want to measure down one inch. And then just trace it out in the shape of a pistol grip. So it looks just like that. Then you want to cut it out. I would suggest a bandsaw, but this is uh, what I had. I would highly not recommend using this. You run the risk of breaking the wood, which I've done before, but Hey, it works. And there's your pistol grip. Now you want to mark it just in the center of the uh, pistol grip. and drill a hole straight through the middle of the hand grip. I'm using, I believe, a 3 8 inch bit here. And then you're just gonna wanna start drilling out a couple more holes because you're gonna want space to put the electronics. And here, I'm drilling out an area for the nine volt battery that's going to power the electronics maybe drilling down about a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna be using the roto zip kind of bit again in my Dremel. And once you get to the point where you think you've got it, you can put a 9 volt battery in there and it should fit pretty snug. And in this clip I am making that hole in the top a little bit bigger, just making it so that my switches and wires will be able to fit in there. It's about 2 inches long or so. And this hole is for the safety switch, which is a toggle switch. It's not big enough with a 3/8 inch bit, so I'm going to use my Dremel and widen it up a little bit. This is horrible camera placement, but I'm putting a hole for the uh, snap connector wires to go through near the end of the strip. And I just got a bunch of sawdust in my eye. That's no fun. And I'm sanding it down. And here I'm using a half inch bit to uh, make that hole bigger in the center of the pistol grip. Makes it easier to get the wires up there. That's what she looks like so far. And I'm just gonna sand it down and make it 
make it look a little nicer. Deciding where I want to uh, cut to make it more comfortable for my hand. Basically just using the Dremel tool to make it rounded instead of a big square, a big block. Sand it all down with the sander attachment on the Dremel. Makes it pretty smooth. And here I am sanding out the 9 volt battery area. And that's what it looks like so far. Now I have to connect the doorbell, which is going to be the trigger. So I'm going to just drill the holes for the screws. And then I'm going to drill into that main hole through the center and that's where our wires will be able to uh, go into. Then I'm just gonna open it up with the Dremel. Make a nice size hole in there. Not so big that you can see the hole from behind the uh, doorbell, but big enough that the screws and wires can get in there. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to attach the doorbell. So now we have to connect the safety. And there's my toggle switch. I'm going to have the on facing forward. That way all I have to do is just flip it forward and push the doorbell to fire. Those are the two switches. And that's the complete pistol grip. You can see that there's kind of a channel in the uh, top of the pistol grip. That's just for the wires so they don't get stuck up um, in between the pistol grip and the barrel. And now it's time to paint. Just going to hang the pistol grip from a wire and give it some gold spray paint. Gotta love spray paint smell. So now we have the barrel to work on. I've spray painted it once, but gonna give it another coat. And it's looking pretty good nice gold color and we've got the heat shroud which I have also given a coat of but it needs probably a couple more coats and we have the pistol grip completed and the heat shroud and the barrel all we have to do is put them all together 
So, like before, you have to first put your rear hose clamp on. Make sure it's nice and tight. You need to identify the rear of the heat shroud and slide that on from the front. Making sure that it locks up with the hose clamp. Holding it there, you can grab your other hose clamp, slide it on from the front, and engage it in the notch, and tighten her down. Now your heat shroud's on, it shouldn't be moving much at all. Now we have to put the pistol grip on. So start with the rear one. Put it where you want it, tighten that down but not too much because you might break the wood unless you have a 9 volt battery in there which you could do right now so it's not putting any pressure on the wood. And then you can put your final hose clamp on. And that's it. All right, so that's the uh, homemade RPG that has not been wired yet. That's the next part of the video. But uh, <clears throat> I will be wiring this right now very soon. But it's pretty much the biggest part right there. To shoot it, you just have to Take the safety off, press the trigger. So, I'll show you how to wire it here.